my dog is 95 pounds, so he's like not even size my dog. He's like a little snack. He's so tiny. Like just for reference sake, this is how tiny he is. Look at you. Oh, what's his name? Chapo. Huh? Chapo. Chapo. Like chapati. Yes. Oh. Oh. You're a little chapati. Yeah. Adorable. You and there was light. Yeah. I wonder if people think that you are boring my top. I, I, you know, I, I was just about to say that, like, this is not another, like, because somebody, you remember in my DM, somebody was like, Oh, you're wearing Sharon's Oh, um, yes, bralette. yes. And I was like, no. Bralette? Yeah, there was a, br you know, th those, those bralettes that we bought from SA, the ones which had the... Yes. So I, you know what, like, I, the same the thing. The same thing. So and we were like, somebody and saw so me, and I was like, it's underwear. <laughs> yeah, but also, um... I think either I got the comment or you got the comment when we were in South Africa and you've got, you know, the gold off shoulder striped mm -hmm, thing. Mm -hmm. Either I got a comment like, oh, Patricia's wearing your top. And I was like, no, we just also wear the same things. We, we <laughs> like buy, we buy the same things. Sorry. And it's not that we, we go buy the shopping same thing. and then buy them together because you bought yours. I, 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 I don't think I bought my golden one at the same time. Did, did No, it? no. Yeah, you already had. I, yeah, no, we didn't. Yeah. But the one, the strap, the bra thing that you're talking about, the little bralettes, mm. we bought them at the same time. Mm. Yeah, because yeah, also if you see something same. that works, you just kind of like buy mm. it, whatever. But this one, I, I, I bought this in 2018. Um, a platform, I remember because I was shopping for a trip. Yeah. 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 I can't even remember when I bought mine, but it's so long ago that I don't have mine anymore. Hello, you guys. I haven't even properly said hello or started this vlog, but hello. Um, what you'd have seen is a setup of the pop-up boutique, um, which is where we are. I think it's called the pop-up boutique. That's it. Yeah. Pop-up boutique. The Kenyan Designer Collective. There's so many gorgeous brands here um some fashion some homeware some uh like tech uh books and uh stationery that kind of thing um and it's just all the good vibes and this is where we thought we could have our chosen paper book live event um we're right at michelle's front door which is the cutest michelle is the lady who put together this pop-up um and we've got all our setup well <laughs> i like how i said we've got all our setups here but really all you see is books and a drink or two drinks miss kihara is trying to get her shots over there trying to get trying to get it together okay babe mm-hmm gear oh okay okay and i think fatma is on her way at least that's the last message she sent so i'm i'm assuming oh every time someone walks in i'm like is that fatma no it's, no, not. it's definitely not fatma um oh. and the book that we are discussing is the girl with the louding voice. I would highly recommend. It was just like, uh, I don't know. It just, it was, it was good, good, good. This is the book that we're gonna read in the month of October. We Are All Birds of Uganda by Hafsa. Ooh, there's gonna be cars leaving and coming in. Um, by Hafsa Zayan. Um, and so if you want to join us on our October read, this is it. All right, we've got 10. No, 15 minutes. We still oh, have time. Okay, we still have lots time. of time. We've got 15 minutes since we, till, we, till we start the live, so we're going to focus on that. But I'll see you after. Guys, just drink Morinda for your hair. I, I just, I did a, a blow dry. This is just a freeze, but it's grown so long. It's grown. Wow. Yeah. Moringa. Can we come in close? Sir? No, no, no. <laughs> Why? Why? Did you see the hair texture here? See? Yeah, See? it's blood. This is frizz. It was straight frizz. and now it's just frizzing. Yeah. Um, <laughs> we're here with Welcome Fatma. Welcome to my channel. <laughs> <laughs> you are, you're so excited. I love your energy. We just did the live and guess who joined us? Fatma. She joined us for the live because uh, she read the book and uh, said so many beautiful things about it. And it yeah. just and she was also coming to this event. Yeah. Um, anyway, in fact, I asked you thank to this you event. Thank you for having me. Sharon and Patricia. Oh, no, you thank you. Online, little online baby chasing paper books. Yeah, it was good, huh? It was awesome. And she I thought, thought, she thought yeah. at first, she was like, I'm going to be there 10, 15 minutes max. I don't yeah. really know what to say. Yeah. One and a half hours later. Fatma was still there chiming in. Mm -hmm. Good vibes. Okay, so now we're gonna go back to that side. Oh, are these your dogs? Oh, Hello. hi, honey. Hello, oh, we've seen. There's just so many. Oh, and there's another one. Did you see the other one? Yeah. Oh wow. 
So many beautiful dogs. All right, I'm gonna switch this camera off because my battery's flashing anyway, and I will see you tomorrow where we're going shopping together. Hello, you guys. Happy, what day is it? Oh, it's Sunday today. Happy Sunday for me. Um, I am back at, I don't know if you guys can tell where I'm back at, but I'm back at Forever 254. Is that the sign of the back that you can see? Oh no, you can't, it doesn't say Forever 254 anywhere. But we're back at Forever 254. They've got a new shipment that came in. <laughs> and your girl is not gonna waste time because with this store, if you're not quick, like you've just got to keep coming, um, but also be very quick <laughs> because the pretty things go really quickly. I know that because I've come here and ended up, ended up buying things that are two sizes too big because I couldn't leave without them because the things that would have probably been my size had already gone. Not wasting time. I'm just going to walk around and I think we can walk around together, see what new items they have. I, I'm not much of a shoe person myself, I'm not gonna lie, but I might pan you around to some of the shoes that I think are so beautiful. Look at that. Honestly, I'm not a heels person, but this is like this gladiator type strappy heeled sandal. Oh, these are really good too, look at that. This, like, oh, are these. Oh, okay, I swear to, okay, they seem to have got the memo. These strappy sandals, these strappy sandals, these are my jam. Um, but they're my jam in a way that I can appreciate them here. I'm just not sure, <gasps> these are so pretty. These are so pretty. I'm just not sure I would wear them. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna focus on the other side, which is all the racks of clothes. Also, I should say that my sister is somewhere around here. Um, so hopefully, I don't think she'll make an appearance. I don't think she wants to, quite frankly, which is fine. But hopefully she'll hold the camera for me so that I can try things on and show you guys a lot easier. These are so my jam. And they're actually Veramoda. I love these, but they are too small for me, unfortunately. Let me just look at my size. Let me stop playing. Ooh. I mean, I already have mustard pants, but do we care? Do we care that I have mustard pants? Also, you see these red flags that are on some of the, of the hangers, not all of them? They mean that the item is half off. So if this, let me see, where is the tag? Right, so this was, ooh, there you are was two two thousand five hundred now it's one thousand two hundred and fifty on a serious note this is cute look at this telepathy Wait, we both picked this out at the exact same time different parts of the rack. This is cute. This is very, to be so, it's an extra, extra large. Okay, Amani thinks this could be a dress. It me. could, I swear it could. You know You're gonna we'll try, try it, it on. We'll try it, because We could place a bit, yeah? Yeah. Ew. <laughs> Bieber, Justin Bieber. Isn't this, Ew. One, cause you're even right now wearing an oversized shirt. Yeah, yes, but does it have wear. Justin Bieber on it? No, but I thought you like Justin Bieber. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. Um, what's the song that we like? Boyfriend. Yeah, what was that? How does it go? <laughs> this is, I'm not if I partaking in this ghetto now. I could take you places that you never been before. Come on. Baby, take a chance so you never, never know. I got money in the, that I really like to do. You're so butchering the lyrics. Right. Oh. Okay. Oh, that's not bad. Let me see the front. Uh, Stadium. Another beaver. <gasps> Do you have that? Yeah, I have that, and now it's on sale. It's not going to be 750, and I think it's the last one. In fact, I thought I was going to wear this today, actually, We're paired with some palazzo pants. 
will okay. not be caught. No, just do I it cannot. With me. Just do it with me. Be you were already caught. kind of doing do it. Do you want to No, just kind of just embrace what is naturally inside of you. So Never. You ready? Shan. Three, three, I will two, be one, killed. Go. If I was your boyfriend. Huh? <laughs> what what does it do? What is it? This is Fergie. Fergie, delicious. Ask do, you even, do you even know who Fergie is? That is the question. Uh, I'm gonna start with this one. Not sure. No, untucked it looks like. Funny. Yeah. And they're not, they're not made together, and yet look at how perfect they are. I mean, I'm wearing my bra underneath, so that wouldn't be ideal. It would be great if it was just like that shoulder, but don't have a strap as bra on at the moment. Ta-da! I love the matching! I love the matching! I love the match. I love it. I love it. I love that they... Are they from the same brand? Can you check if they're from the same brand? Uh -huh. So they are from the same brand, both from Vila, which makes sense why the tones are a perfect match. Like they've got it spot on, like with the burnt orange and now with this mustard color, like it's perfection. Um, so much so that it looks like you're in a suit without actually being in a suit. But again, I've got pants that are in this color, similar to this color at home. And I just don't know if it makes sense to buy to bring in two pants that have that I already kind of have at home. Okay, so once again, I feel like my bra is should just exit the group, but I didn't carry a strapless bra. But this is like like at the coast for dinner. I would wear it many times, and it's like fun too like look at all of that look at what's happening look we got cookies show your cookies oh we got cookies my fly is open but <laughs> <laughs> but we got cookies sports bra i'm unsure what do you think i like it you like it mm -hmm. oh that looks good mm -hmm. whoa sour boss sour hey I can flex you still. <laughs> That's how it looks like. Yeah. So I don't know if it's like the best support. It's not like um, high support, high, high support. But on the days where we're just doing things like cleans or shoulder dips or things like that, this is like everything. It's so cute. I love it. High five. I you see, you weren't trying to have fun with me. That's why I'm not answering you because you're no, just true. doing everything. But you know, I was looking there and then now I'm looking at you. Okay, but how am I supposed to know? Try the fla flannel on. Flannel, okay. 2700. Uh, there's too many pretty things. God, this sports bar is really cute, huh? Mm hmm. <sighs> Shan, you can't take all, the, know, all three of those ones. Okay, okay, okay. Just everyone just calm down, okay? These are really big. They're really big. There's like, they're really big, but they're really cool. Oh, you can adjust our knees, right? Okay, we're adjusted. I mean, oh, I don't know. I don't understand how people wear dungarees with um, just like crop tops because if I do a little bit of this, you just see my underwear, don't you? Like if you were taller than me, you'd be. Oh yeah, if I was taller than you. Yeah, exactly. So I don't see how people wear dungarees and crop tops. Oh, because maybe they're usually quite tight here. Maybe they usually buy their size. That's it. <laughs> Try wants to buy two sizes bigger. <laughs> Is it not very nice? First of all, it does nothing for my body. Okay. Okay. Okay, go away. It's it it's it's not a it's a it's it's not a top. It's, no, it's not a dress. It's a top, and then it's really big. Okay, just keep quiet. You go change. <laughs> you guys, what does this remind you of? Does it remind you of the thing that it reminds me of, which is my petal and puff uh, knit rust colored dress? It's so beautiful. Uh, you can have it like 
pretty modest here, but it also feels like you can wear it. I'm still wearing my sports bra, by the way, but it also feels like you can wear it. Ah, oh, someone buy this dress. Someone buy this dress. It's too big for me, but I feel like there's someone watching this who would look beautiful in this dress. And actually, hot weather season, this is my vibe. Sports bra, which I'm definitely going with. There was another one of these. And, oh yeah, this there was another one of this too, yeah. right? I like my little loot. And trust me, I will wear these over and over and over again. Are you the one who stole that sweater that looks like this? Oh please, Shan, come on. You did. We all know it's you. No, I don't have it. Okay, because I took it back, but then you stole oh, it first. No. Let yeah. me tell you, in this house, in this house, <laughs> in this family, Dad's sweaters are the ones that um, me, Amani, and Dad have to fight over, and I don't know why. And then he has like two sweaters, but we still are always fighting over them. No, you know what I saw? Yeah. <gasps> Look at this. Oh, who's the little, little type of bomb bomb is gonna get in here? I just want to do. You know, I, I don't feel like you're a shoe girl. Are you, Amani? I am. Kind, kind of. of. Oh, can I? Kind I'm not a shoe girl. But like, look at some of these. No, not those kind of shoes. I, okay, I know you're not, and, and neither am I. But like, how, aren't these like really like for people who are shoe shoe girls? These are it, right? Mm-hmm. They're really cool. Like these. Oh, no, sorry. Seriously, seriously, like these. Those are nice. Those are really nice. Can I actually try those on? Oh gosh, come on. No, stop. <gasps> Amani, I'm taking the shoes. Like, I'm taking the shoes. And I put these on just like, you know, okay, let me just try on a pair of heels so that, you know, people can see what's fit. I'm. I have to take the shoes, right? Move back. Well, first of all, can I walk in the shoes? And then ask that. We should start that. We should start there. Can I walk in the shoes? I'm here. I can walk in the shoes. I might die in the shoes because these shoes are higher than what I used to wear. But I'm, I'm, I'm taking the shoes. I'm not a shoe girl, but why do these shoes just look like they would go with everything? I'm just being practical. For like the two times in a year where I have to wear heels, I've got either the ones that Mondi got me, which you guys know, or these would be like a great second alternative. And having them in black, and then the strappy, the stra I mean, even in my with my outfit right now, it just, it looks perfect. What do they look like to you? Do they look like they're big or small? Because they're a size, huh? A little bit? Big. Yeah, they're a size 40. Do we care that I'm not a size 40, I'm a size 39? I panned to her accidentally, so I'm gonna have to delete that part. But, <laughs> so do they look too big? Okay, I just wanna show the side. Okay, here. Like you could go walking like, across. You see, at the top, at the very top, yeah, it looks, maybe. yeah. I mean, seriously, look at that. I mean, if we didn't have this blue tag that is there for security reasons, let's ignore that. But how gorgeous. Okay, now that I'm done with the thumbnail, can I leave these shoes? Can I? Would that be sinful or sinful? I feel like if I was with Mondi, she would definitely be like, hon, just take them. But with you, no. because we're both not heels girls, we're both like, hmm, uh, how much, how much are, are they? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. How much are they? Read the back. Yes. 4,600. 5,500. 5,000, 500. 5, Is it 6,000? No, mine's 6,500. <gasps> <gasps> People who spend money on shoes. <laughs> what are you doing with your life, guys? Please? You're special and you're reckless. And babe, you're my bestest friend. Yeah, she's my bestie. My love for you is endless Nobody else can end it And when I get the money back Then baby girl you can spend it oh. And everything is alright I like how you doing alright alright Like how you think alright Always on top of you Hello you guys It has been a 
few days since we last spoke and I have a lot to update you on. But I just found myself in such a beautiful spot. Neha, what, what is this called again? The Artisanal Gallery. The Artisanal Gallery, um, which is where CrossFit Kretu is, like that. What's, it's Gigiri Center, is that the, yeah, is that where you find? Uh, Gigiri Courtyard, but oh. Craft Center. Okay, well. Gigiri Courtyard or Craft Center. Um, but the Artisanal Gallery, I think you opened a few months ago. It's we just, in July. in July. Okay, yeah, so it's literally, three all of those, three months. Yeah. <laughs> it's a baby, but it's not a baby. Like, it's just, like, it's potential. You can pass, I, I, I want to, thank you. Um, so it's only three months old, but like what they're doing, it's so beautiful here. And I'm gonna pan the camera so that you actually see what I'm talking about. There's a level upstairs, I'll show you that too. Um, and I'm here with Neha, who's one of the people behind the artisanal gallery, but I've known her for years. And we met actually through hair, <laughs> years ago. Um, but just look at this space. Just look at that. So they've got lots of Kenyan brands. Actually, only Kenyan brands, that would be right. Right, Neha? Yes, only right. Kenyan brands. Only Brands, but not necessarily manufactured yeah. In Kenya. yeah, yeah, yeah. But we're supporting Kenyan enterprises. Right. So supporting Kenyan enterprises doesn't have to be necessarily made in Kenya, but they are Kenyan brands. So we've got like Hikaya, which we know on this channel is a favorite. Um, the Fashion Lab, I've never actually heard of them, but they seem to have a lot of like knitwear type pieces and like maybe kind of linen. And then. What do we, oh, Mathaga Tea Company. This is so cool, it, oh, this is so cool. Love We've these guys. The range, and then Shikazuri, which obviously uh, all their jewelry is inspired by obviously the landscape. Oh, Kenya. nice. This was also at, um, uh, yes. at the pop-up. The pop-up. Where the we, yeah yeah yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, which is actually the start of this video. What you, the guys are watching oh. now, like I, it started off in Kitusuru. Oh, and then now it feels like full circle. Also, yeah. where are those chickens? Yeah, there's a whole um, coop. I gotta tell you something I could do. I could be running or I'm chasing you. But I won't. Cause I got better, better things to do. Rather spend my precious time chasing somebody who loves me too. If I got a dollar for every time you slam the door, I would be the richest girl. Apparently, these are actual, real, real bugs that, they, that died naturally. This kind of makes me think that we're back to like Jurassic Park and if I crack it and then get the DNA, I might just like, you know. Are you selling this mirror? Yes. You're selling it. This is perfection. I'm not gonna lie. This, this mirror is making me so happy. It's like, it's the size of a wall. I don't think you can tell just how big this thing is. Well, maybe you can, I'm not entirely sure, but this is beautiful, but this, Oh my gosh, I am obsessed. Okay, wow, that was stunning. I did, that place has been here. And by here I mean CrossFit, which is where I've been coming all the time, which is where I'm still, like I'm still parked outside of CrossFit. But it's been here for like three months and I've never gone in. I think there's just all these little new things that come up and you don't even know like if you're just so used to seeing the same thing you don't even notice um but i had met neha who's the lady that you'd have seen um and i've known for a while i met her at the pop-up which is at the start of the video and she was like oh next time you're at crossfit just let me know and um come on over and just now i finished my workout which was brutal like i've i've got bru I've, i know i'm gonna get bruises from the dumbbells because of those bloody snatches um and I, and I thought, oh, uh, I have a few minutes to kill. Let me just go check out the artisanal gallery. It's a hidden, like you don't, like even from here, you can't even see the potential of it. Like it's just a little spot. It's a door and then it leads to like levels and like, ah, oh, it's so beautiful. I have to say it is um, different from other like Kenyan, uh, what would you call that? Like, like pop-up stores, you know, where they kind of bring different brands. I think this would classify as luxury. A lot of the items there are higher priced than normal. Although they do have Hikaya, which I, I don't know if you would say Hikaya, Hikaya is like 
luxury price but they they have like brands like Hekaya um, which I think are like you know affordable decent and then they have other more like higher priced brands there's this one oh, I can't remember and I'm not even sure I filmed it but it was um, a little saucer and a little teacup and I want it and I want it so badly and it was a set and it just is like ah! um, oh what else the mirror I didn't even ask how much that mirror was because I, I just I don't even want to imagine how much it is but it is so beautiful the one that had the sisal man anyway enough rambling but that was really beautiful uh i am about to go try and get myself some food because i am famished and it is midday and i still haven't eaten um so i want to get myself some food but i wanted to just give you a quick update because a lot has happened in the last week um since the last clip that you'd have watched well, for starters, I just went, I just, there, there was a lot that was happening on a personal level and I was just, I, I did, I did what I needed to do to like <sighs> breathe. Um, my laptop is falling apart. Uh, like literally the hinges are coming apart, um, are coming off. Like, so this part of the laptop doesn't stay up. It kind of like, it, it doesn't, unless I put it like lean it against something, it doesn't stay up. Uh, which is a little scary given how much of my life revolves around having access to the laptop and Final Cut Pro and just editing and all of that. I've got someone that I'm going to try and take it to so hopefully it'll be fixed but I want to take it to them after I've edited this video and hopefully I'll be able to do that. Um, what else happened? I confirmed a trip which I wasn't sure was going to happen but now it looks like it's happening so very soon um, I'll be taking you with me to a different part of town and a oh, different part of this country i should say and uh what else has happened what other updates i feel like there were so many updates and i should have written them down but do i remember no oh i finished the book that i was reading before and that was uh jeffrey archer i hadn't read a jeffrey archer in so long um also just pardon all the people in cars passing by i'm in a parking lot mm. but i finished a jeffrey archer and I loved that. So I had forgotten just how exciting it was that I went out, got myself another Jeffrey Archer book and went through my library and realized there was also James Patterson books that I hadn't picked up in a while. And I feel like I've gone in a very like Africana, like uh, um, centric direction. So a lot of the books I've been reading have been either authored by african women or are set in africa which i love and I, I like i'm all here for that but i forgot about like just some good old action like trying to catch the bad guy dun, dun, dun. i love that kind of stuff have there been any updates in the house not really i've been thinking about what i want to do in the guest room which doesn't even make sense given that what i should be doing in my bedroom hasn't been happening so i shouldn't even i should i shouldn't i'm not i'm going to stop talking about it. i won't even say that because i'm just like i'm doing the most um anyway i'm gonna go find food oh i'm wearing my um forever 254 shirt i should have actually said it um but i am sure i would have edited it and put it on the screen but the part where I was shopping at Forever 254 was a paid for partnership. That section of the video was paid for a partnership with Forever 254. I've been working with them for, oh, for a year now. I think it's coming up on a year, actually. Um, and it's like a fair, fair part of my wardrobe. Like a good chunk of my wardrobe has um, pieces from Forever 254, including this beautiful window pane checked black um, shirt. I paired it with my Vivo jeans, my Vivo skinny jeans that I love so much. And my lipstick is, um, I'm going to tell you just now, it's a Maybelline lipstick. This one. Uh, sens sensational Liquid Matte in the shade 02, Soft Wine. Oh, yes. I see it. Okay. I can't, I can't, I can't think now, so I'm definitely going to find food. What I feel like I'm probably going to go for is, uh, breakfast croissant with bacon and the eggs well done from java and a java doll i feel like i should get that do i want to do that i'm traveling soon and i know i'm going to be in a bikini and i want to look fire for the gram let me tell you let 
for someone who's so hungry, I have a lot to say. But I was texting, I was DMing uh, someone. Oh, why is Tats' dad here? Is Tats here? We worked out with Tats and I'm just seeing her dad. I, I don't know. Anyway. What was I saying? Wow, my mind, what is happening? I don't know what's happening, what was I saying? Oh, yes, ah, I put up a picture on my stories of me and my underwear, um, and it was after a workout, and I was just feeling really good in my body, about my body, and I was like, snap that, put it up on my Insta stories. And um, someone, I won't say who it is, because I'm not sure she, I, I don't think she would care, but I won't say her name because I don't know if this is something she wants to talk about, but um, someone that I follow and I love, I love everything she does. Um, she was like, oh my gosh, go girl. And my response was like, I'm really just here to normalize a certain level of nudity because I just, I like I'm, I don't want to be told to cover up. Um, and I don't know how people will feel about that, but I'm also like, okay to kind of push those people a little bit and either push them out of my space on the internet or push them into the uncomfortable until it becomes comfortable until it, it's like it doesn't matter um and so why am i saying this i think i talked about the bikini and i just want to have littler and littler bikinis like <laughs> the amount of body the amount of fabric on a bikini i just wanted to reduce is all i'm saying right and with that i'm off to find food <laughs> Oh my gosh, did I even highlight my little um, hair tie? It's not really called a hair tie, I forgot what what they're called, bobbles? No, what are they called, scrunchies? Yeah, I think that's what it is. Did I highlight it? No, I didn't. This is the one I got from Miniso, but it actually came with a bow, and then the bow kind of can slip off, and I just couldn't be bothered trying to tie it back on, so now it's just a scrunchie. I did the responsible thing, and I came straight home, and I had home cooked food, which I'm so happy I did. It was really tasty. It was like Chinese fried rice and then like stir fried chicken and lots of veggies as well. Um, spinach and like, I just feel good. And then I had um, some tasty orange juice. This is freshly squeezed, no sugar added. Although I think lots of like, you know, nutritionists and dietitians will be like, well, it has a lot of sugar. It's okay, I won't let you. I don't know. If it's not for you, it's not for you. But if you want freshly squeezed orange juice, I'm gonna leave a link to where you can get this down below. It's really affordable. It can be delivered to your home, uh, to your doorstep or to your home. I've also got a glass of water and a cup of coffee from my little game mug that says, you've got this, which I think is one of the things that I say quite often quite often. You know what else someone said though that I say, say a lot? Apparently I say obsessed a lot and I've never, I never noticed it before until I was editing I think the last video and I was like, mm, I need to find another word. I need to find another phrase. It cannot be obsessed. No, 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 no. I have a large vocabulary and I must use that. So obsessed is going out. Um, I have been trying to put out a fire. There's been a major issue with my emails. I've not been receiving emails and I've been trying to figure out why. We finally know why. Trying to sort that out um, and respond to lots of emails. But I think at this point, I'm just going to sit at my desk and just get work done because there's a lot that's pending from the last week. I've, you wanna see my laptop situation? I wasn't lying. I do have a stack of books holding this up because because it, it, it does, I don't want to aggravate it any further, but um, these are my books of choice. Also, spoiler alert, but one of these just might be one of the books that we pick, um, that we delve into next month for Chasing Paper Books. I'm not gonna say which one just yet, but um, yeah, I, I'm trying to use it as a backstop for my laptop because things are really, thick and especially on this side. Let me see if I can lift it up and you can see. But, oh gosh, can you see that? Wait, you can't see that. Can you see that? Doesn't look like it's anything. It's actually, it feels like it's kind of, like the hinges have gone back to its little slots and I don't want to remove them just so I can show you how big a gap it can get. It can 
it can be um but i tried to like i don't know if any of this makes sense or if anyone cares anyway but so i'm just gonna stop actually i'm just gonna stop just now we are trying our best here and uh <laughs> and this girl might just have to invest in some new gadgets and tech and all of that like i also kind of feel like my camera i mean my camera served me well and i think it could go quite a while so i shouldn't even jinx it like my camera is good touch wood that's not wood touch you know we're good we're good but uh my laptop yeah i don't know the one i asked two people to i sent them pictures of the situation um and asked if they can fix it one guy was like no not fixable you might as well just buy a new laptop and the other guy was like mm, bring it to my shop and we'll look into it and so i'm just like please don't tell me i have to spend money on a new laptop that just mm, mm. so please cross your fingers for me please one drink down two to go Like falling deeper, cold and ice that no more shit on. Keep that leggy and no more kid on. Just don't let's hide a you should go. Keep them on hand and go to night. I have to wash my face. So I'm just gonna do one of those transitions. I don't know if I'm gonna go through like the process and then have to cut that part out. So I'm just gonna dip my head down and when I come back up, my face will be clean. I wish that's how it actually worked, but you know. Anyway, and I'm fresh and so clean, clean. Face is freshly washed. I have some bits of fluff on my face because my towel is like the fluff monster. Um, I wanted to highlight a couple of products that I've been going crazy over. The first is this little guy, the hyaluronic acid from, um, La Roche, I'm maybe a third of the way through, like I'm finding myself reaching for this guy a lot more. Um, and, um, oh no, not this. This cleanser from Newly. it's the Clean Saver Foam Cleanser. It reminds me a lot of the Maison, this one. The Maison cleanser in texture and smell and just, just even how it looks, like how it comes out. This is ideally when I should do like a swatch test. I don't know. You know what? I'm just gonna go there. So that side is Mizan, and here is Newly. I don't know if you'll be able to really tell, but they have like a. It has like a silky texture to it. The Maison one I've had for, oh man, it actually, <laughs> 12 months for sure. So ideally, I shouldn't be using it anymore, but you know, we're gonna, we're gonna finish that. But I, has it, when did I actually get it? I feel like it was September last year that I got this. So I probably will prioritize, actually, I'll prioritize using this now. But the texture is quite similar. The smell is quite similar, but I think I actually prefer the Newly one. Like I, I think I prefer that one. Um, it just feels, I don't know how to explain it. It feels really great on my skin. And I use it every other day. I do have like several cleansers, so I kind of just try and alternate. Like I've got another one from La Roche, which is a pigment cloud. This is the one I actually used this evening. Um, but I think the cleanser that I use the most is this one, the Effa cleanser from La Roche, because it's just, like it, it's easy. I don't have to think about like, mm, what's in here? Because the newly one, for instance, has salicylic acid. Um, so I have to kind of think about like when I'm using that and I'm using treatments in the evening, what do I, what do I want to avoid? But um, anyway, I just want to do a little swatcheroo. I don't think you can actually quite see it. Interesting, now when I look at the swatches, the Maison one looks like it should be like more silky. I don't know if you can really, you probably can't tell, but it's got like a gloss to it. But, and they both feel good. I like them. Um, um, yeah, maybe if I do that, you'll see the silkiness that I'm talking about. 
there. You can see the silkiness a little bit better. Um, but this one though, whew, I like the Nudie one quite a bit. Nudie has like some really good products actually. Anyway, I'm gonna change into my PJs and just have a nice quiet evening. I'll probably spend it rolling because, and stretching because this girl, this girl is aching a little bit, a little bit from the last few workouts. Um, and maybe doing some, getting some editing out of the way. So I think I'll say goodnight here with my freshly washed face. Uh, thanks for much, thanks for much, oh, thanks so much for watching. Um, and I'll see you very soon. This girl has been staring at her screen for the last few hours. Like I just, for some reason, got inspired to start editing. Haven't even changed into my PJs. Haven't started to like unwind really. I have just been editing. Um, and that's why even, I don't know if you can tell, but my eyes might look a little glazed. I even feel, yeah, I've been staring at my screen for a good chunk of time. But I just wanted to say, because I'm editing the video that you're watching now, I realized I never confirmed the shoes came home with me. So this is for the people who, I guess, made it to the end and were wondering if I left the shoes behind or if they came home with me, the ones that were just a smidge too big for me, they're home. They're sitting pretty in a closet waiting to be worn that like one time in a year, but they're going to be so perfect, so perfect. I love them, I love them. Um, yeah, that's it. All right, goodbye, for real now. Feel like falling deeper, cold and ice, that no more shit, I'm getting